Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What's going on third grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. This is video number 20. I'm hoping that you have the worksheet that you need for today. If you're like, Ms. McCarthy, I needed a worksheet? Yeah, there's a link below or somewhere around this video that will take you to my website where you can download the worksheets that you need for this episode along with the other episodes in the third grade Math FSA Boot Camp Series. So at this time, go ahead and pause the video. I want you to try number one and number two on your your own, throw down your best as if these questions were on the test, and then come on back to check your work and see how you did. If you know that you need some more practice after these videos, I will definitely point you in the right direction, okay? So go ahead, pause the video, and I will see you in just a second. All right, third grade, welcome back. So, so the first thing we're going to do is identify the question type. I see A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D. In the morning, brush your teeth. Have you guys seen that commercial on YouTube? No, just me, cool. Because there are five answer choices, what kind of question is this? It's a multi-select, yes, which means that there should be more than one correct answer. By the way, if you hear little rain droplets in the background, that is because it is currently raining right now. And unfortunately, I cannot black out the rain and I most definitely need to get these videos to you. So rain or shine, baby, rain or shine. Now that we know that this is a multi-select question, let's go ahead and read it, mark up our text and make sense of it. So it says select all, that means that we're going to try all of them. We're going to take a close look at all of the figures below that have an area, when I see area, I think of length times width, when it's a rectangle, of 12 square units. Also, whenever you are working with area, you need to make sure that the answer includes the word square. If you're providing a solution that has the area, include the word square. Select all of the figures below that have an area of 12 units. Well, the cool thing with these is that we just need to count them up. Well, the cool thing with this problem is, I mean, we could do the length times width for some of these here, but really we could just count up the squares to give us the area is the space that is being covered. So let's count them up and see if we get 12. For A, we get, I like to put little numbers in boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I know you can't see, 10, 11, 12. Look at that. Is that 12 square units? Yes. Mark it up. Now I'm going to count up the squares for B. And when I count up the squares for B, look, there are 12 square units, so I can mark B as well. There's only two, right? So I could just go ahead and move on. It can't possibly be the others. Is that a good way to think? No! We need to make sure we are always, I said try all, we're gonna look at all of them. So let me count up the square units for C. 
What did you get for C? I got 11 too, so we can eliminate that one, not quite 12. Let me try D now. And for D, I got 16 square units, so we can eliminate there. Last one, E. Ah, and E has 12 square units as well, so the correct answers here would be A, B, and E. You see how I've shown all my thinking on paper right there? It did not take me very long. I have plenty of time to do it, so make sure that you are doing that same thing on your paper as well. All right, let's check out number two. All right, for number two, let's identify this question type right here. So I see that we have some statements and we are filling it in with either an A or a B answer. So this is an editing task item, <laughs> which you will not find on the How to Pass the Math FSA series. That's why I wanted to create the Math FSA Bootcamp for you, okay? All right, let's read it. Miss McMurtry. What's up, Miss McMurtry? I know that you and your students are watching this video right now, so hey, everybody. I know that you have been working really hard and I'm so excited for you to throw down your very best, okay? You've totally got this. This one is for you. Miss McMurtry draws the figure below. She really did. She emailed this figure to me and I put it in the problem. Crazy, right? Complete the statement below to explain how to find the area of Miss McMurtry's figure. So we're trying to find the area. And we know we can do that by counting up the squares, right? For each box, fill in the bubble before the choice that is correct. Okay, we've got this. Well, if we were gonna find the area, it would be one, two, three, four, five, a six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. This would have an area of 13 square, because don't forget, we always have to include square with area square units. So Miss McMurtry can find the area by finding the length around the figure that's around here. That's not right because what would we be finding if we found the length around it? Yeah, we'd be finding the perimeter. That's not what we want. We want the area so we can eliminate A. Or B, counting the number of squares. Yeah. Counting the number of squares is what we did, right? Therefore, the area of Miss McMurtry's figure is 13 square units or 18 square units. We got it right there. It's a 13 square units. Awesome. Super fun. See, sometimes these look a little bit wordy and all you have to do is just break it down and see what the problem's asking you to do. This one was actually pretty simple in my opinion. But if you need to make any adjustments on your paper, now is the time to do that. All right, third grade. So if you know that you need some more help with area and perimeter, I know we didn't talk about perimeter and we also stuck to kind of the basic level of area in this one, but it's going to get a little more intense. So I want to point you in the right direction of McCarthy Math 155. Check out Unit 7. You should see a link below that you can click. It'll take you to my site and you can activate your free trial there. That free trial will give you access for seven days. If you have any trouble getting set up with your free trial, please email me. I will personally help you out, okay? So then you'll have access to these videos, to all the videos, third, fourth, and fifth grade, all 155 video lessons for seven days. If you like the style of the series, then I definitely encourage you to become a member and teachers. Just so you know, this is something that you can share with your students. I walk you through how to do that on the tutorials tab on my page. Check out video number five and I'll break that down for you. McCarthy Math 155 is a program that a lot of schools and teachers and even districts are using as their daily math intervention. I really encourage you to check it out. It's super fun, high energy, jam-packed, and I break down the skills. It'll be super fun. The next link to check out is to the How to Pass the Math FSA series for the same standard that we worked on today. Now the How to Pass the Math FSA series was created a few years ago back when the third grade version of the FSA was a computer-based test. It's not a computer-based test anymore. It's a paper-based test, which the Math FSA Boot Camp series that you're watching right now reflects, so you're in good hands here. But the How to Pass the Math FSA series will give you great practice if you really need some more help building up that confidence for that standard. So check that out. I'd also love for you to follow me on my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. You can also follow me on YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. In fact, if you're watching from YouTube right now, go ahead and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when 
I drop a new video. And while you're at it, could you please take one little itty bitty second to smash that like button for this particular video that you're watching. Not for me, but for the mission that I'm on. You see, I'm on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for as many third, fourth, and fifth graders as possible. It really does bother me when I see students struggling with math and I just, I want to do everything I can to help build up the confidence levels of as many students as I can. So when you do that, when you hit that like button, it really has the potential to transform somebody's life. So thank you so much for doing that. And finally, before we go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You all are the generation that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have this. You see these third graders right here. We have a whole new generation of world changers. That's you ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have that choice. Am I right? All right. I cannot wait to see you all on the next episode. So I will see you soon.